All right. Well, ladies, thank you for joining us. Carly and Jade, of course, famous for The Bachelor and now famous for Mommy's Tell All podcast, which we've listened to. And it's good. Thank you. Welcome to the wonderful world of radio, or at least podcast. <laughs> That's right, right. Now, now tell us, of course, the, the show is premiering, The Bachelor is premiering, um, let's see, Monday, May the 13th. Uh, what are you looking forward to, to seeing in this season? You know, I think that Hannah is such a different bachelorette because mm-hmm. she's she doesn't have that perfect presence. You know, she's been a little bit just herself and letting she's her like show. Awkward. Yeah, she's <laughs> kind of awkward and she shows her flaws. And I really like that about her. I feel like it's very refreshing, especially because the show has been on for so right. long. And so I'm really looking forward to just seeing her quirkiness and just seeing who she connects with and. Obviously, we all want her to find love. So, yeah. Now, if you could give advice, since you're, you know, you're, you're experts on this now, what advice would you give? <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> I think um, stay in the present moment as much as possible, and like mm. she's in control. Just do whatever you want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? Did it seem like it was cutthroat at all? When you, oh. when you it gets pretty clicky. I'm not gonna lie. At least our season was pretty clicky, and there are some there's some snarkiness. There's some cat fights for <laughs> sure. Especially like when they call them front runners, so the people who they think that the lead likes the most, they're like, "Oh, that girl's a front runner." It can get it can get a little heated. Think about thirty women in a room. One room. I have many times. <laughs> <laughs> So you now now you've refocused and you're a part of a podcast on the Westwood One uh, Podcast Network, Mommy's Tell All. Why did you decide to do a podcast? Oh, basically for therapy for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, Jane and I called each other all the time and talked about the good and the bad and the ugly of what we were going through in motherhood. And I think one day it just clicked. We should expand this and actually talk to other people because we could help people and people could help us. I mean, it's it's a give and take, really. We have experts on because we don't know what the heck we're doing either. <laughs> now, was there any concern from family members uh, who said, okay, we don't want you going on doing a podcast because you might tell more than we want you to tell? Or were they all very supportive of you doing this? Um, yeah, I mean, our husbands, they're definitely the brunt of a lot of our jokes and embarrassing stories. <laughs> but that kind of just... That came with, like, the title, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. So they, they've gotten used to it. Now, what is it like? Because uh, uh, Deb, who's with us here, uh, she's always talking about multitasking and so much of that going on. How much do you yeah. have to do that? Because now you got a podcast, you got the kids and everything else. Oh, gosh. It really is almost impossible. We are chickens with our heads cut off <laughs> running around every single day just trying to make it work. But, you know trying to be good moms and we're totally imperfect and that's okay because that's normal Mm -hmm. tell our listeners some samples of what you might be talking about or you have talked about on your podcast but no we talk about anything that's relevant in our own lives and just what's going on with us and then we also bring on people and we talk about like breastfeeding issues to toddler tantrums to maternal mental health and we, ha- we like to have fun and keep it light, but we also really want to talk about issues that women are afraid that they're alone in and mm. um, really just kind of bust open those stigmas because it needs to be talked about more and women need to have resources. And that's def- definitely the mission of our podcast. Have you gotten feedback from from, uh, from subscribers who've said, hey, we love it. We want you to talk about this next time or, or oh, uh, giving you ideas yeah. on topics. Yeah, I love that. We get that all the time. We actually have a Mommy's Tell All Facebook group that has 20,000 members in it. And all day, every day, it's moms asking questions and giving support and giving advice. And um, I think that's just a really cool outlet, too, that we've connected to moms through. And Yeah, and it's where we get a lot of our podcast topics because you start to see trends on like what people are dealing with. Mm-hmm. And so it's a really great resource for us, too. Right. Now, is there any kind of a, a special advice to, let's say, a mom-to-be that uh, they're not expecting this, and you can say, hey, look out, this is going to happen, be ready. Everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one yeah. of those things you just don't know until you know. Right. And right. it's, I mean, I mean, you're going to be really stressed, but it's all going to be great, and your kid is going to grow up and be great, and everything's going to be fine, and just take it. Second by second and minute by minute. Because okay. it's just going to change every minute. I know our time's about gone, but real quick, um, a quick idea for a couple of guys in the room listening for Mother's Day. Yeah. Yes. What What can you? What would you suggest we get? Got any ideas? Diamonds. Ah, <laughs> diamonds. I'm sorry, I think you're breaking yes. up again. I, I'm not hearing that clearly. <laughs> that is the answer. Now, is it okay for a, 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 your husbands to give you a Mother's Day gift? Or is it that deal like, oh, I'm, you're not their mother? 
Oh, they should give us. I, am, I mean, I am expecting one. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> and diamonds again is the answer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I feel like my husband's mother, let's face it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get you. Uh, I hear you got you. an extra kid in the house. I hear you. <laughs> well, hey, we will let you go, but it's a great podcast. And let me tell you, you guys, it's okay for guys to listen it's to okay. you. It's okay, yeah. Because you can get some real insight. But best of luck to you. We can't wait to see you. Thank you Thank so much. You. All right, take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.